Hey, my name's Liam. I made Angelo back uh, in 2010 when I was 15 years old. Uh, it was the first movie that I ever tried to shoot during the winter, which has made it the only movie that I've ever tried to shoot during the winter because shooting during the winter is crazy sauce. Although we are going to be doing it for our upcoming film, Butterfly Queen. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll talk more about that after you get through, Angelo. Um, no demons were harmed during the making of this film, but... There might actually have been some demons harmed during the making of this film. I can't totally guarantee that. Uh, here's Angelo. Enjoy it. All demons cut their hearts out. They have to. You cannot succeed as a demon if you're going to get emotional all the time. Of course, the heart is kept in a cursed chest, stored safely so as to give the owner power and life. Destroy a demon's heart, and you destroy the demon. But once, there was a demon who kept his heart. He'd intended it to be more secure, locked away in his body, and it was. But hearts are bound to do one thing, and the demon found this out soon enough. He fell in love. We gotta get going. Your mom's gonna be worried. It is Christmas. Hello, boy. You know what this is? It's a tour for playing with your liver. Won't that be fun? <laughs> Do you think you could hide forever in a knock? You've broken Harak Natali. We're taking you to the king. No, wait. We're not. He said we could deal with you ourselves. You and your whelp. And we don't mind checking on your wife while we're out. Save you the trouble. You'll not touch the mast, Oh, no, Nanak. I rather think I will. You see? We outnumber you. Must be a fair five to one. 
You having a fair bone in your body. I know. I'm what we call a demon. And the knock? I want your sword. A demon sword cannot be taken from him, unless he's dead. You know that, Astrophical. I do. <laughs> Run away! Daddy loves you! What reports from the front? Well, uh, D Division Delta is determined to daringly destroy Dublin. Uh, uh, Alpha audaciously- That's enough! I will not be spoken to like some human comedian! Oh! <laughs> you! Try any alliteration and you'll be boiled alive in walrus fat. Now go and fetch a gruel to perform the rites. And take this cockroach away with you. Go! When they've finished with their tasks, kill them. Yes, sir. I want nobody to know of the whereabouts of my heart. Yes, sir. Be glad that you are nobody. Yes, sir. Sire. Yes. You are truly brilliant. And they will long remember you as a demon king who destroyed man. Do you mind licking my boots clean while you're at it?
quarter moon with luck. A scarce commodity. What reports from the front? All the troops are in place, sire. General Xavius has been punished duly for his mishandling of the chilling quake. Only a fool would use a tremor on buildings with a foundation. Yes, sir. Still, human politics has rocked, though not as much as I'd hoped. I digress. How long until they can all mobilize? Five months, sir, according to General Tejo. That means eight. Ugh, we have not got that long! Why this has taken so long, I do not know. But the humans must be brought to heel before the equinox. By March 20th, the plan must be complete. Tell that to Tajork. Yes, sir. Sire. What? I, I found Laura. It was only there for a moment, but... Send a hunter. A child. A little boy. You couldn't even stomach that! He got away, son. He got away, did he? The great Asphigal backed up by four, and you let our babe slip through your fingers! Yes. Ugh. The Equinox! That child could ruin this all! Because of you, Asphigal! You see them out there? Their obedience hangs by a thread. There is no pit in the underworld to you. No fire to ride. I'm surprised nobody built this up again. They've tried, but nobody's ever built anything here, and nobody ever will. It's cursed. No, it ain't cursed. These small town government folks just don't know how to handle a job like this. Now, PAPS contracting ain't called PAPS for nothing. No, this does remind me of that place in Ohio that burned. And it wasn't just a house. A whole couple blocks that got scorched. Boy, this is a perfect site. Perfect scenery. Can't you imagine somebody like Johnny Depp living here? Ah, I mean, think about it. it. Could be a patio over there, nice little garden over there. Down by the trees there, we could have some pool. A bit of bulldozing over in the corner. We'll make a sand pit for the little Depps. You're not seeing it. You gotta give stars a place where they feel at home. I mean, a place where they're welcome, not just for their famousness, because that'll never happen. I mean, everyone knows stars are just empty weirdos. But you give them a place that's comfortable away from everybody else. You know, with nature.
Hello, boy. It's a tour for playing with your lips. Kill you with your own You gotta get going. Your mom's gonna be worried.
Why? Why are you crying? Does your liver bother you? Angelo? Because if it does, I have a cure. You're just like your father, boy. A traitor and a fool. You have no idea how much trouble I got into for letting you go. The king has some amazing things he can do with hot magma. It's a good thing I killed your daddy, otherwise I wouldn't be standing here today. <coughs> well, I can't stand around all year. The horde is coming, and I better kill you before they do. Any last words? I didn't think so. <laughs> You do realize I had to kill your father. Your daddy had broken Harak Natali. The king needed a place to hide his heart. Two birds with one stone. You don't know. You really don't know. Tut tut, this is good. You have to hide your heart, boy. Otherwise, just anyone can kill you. Your father didn't realize this. It'll be just as easy to kill you as it was him. Oh yes, this should be your sword. But I don't think you'll be needing it. Don't kill me. I know the plan. Uh, the king... The king is going to wipe out the humans. That's why, Nanak, that's why your father had to die. The king couldn't have anybody in the way. That's why... The horde is coming. Are you going to kill me now? I told you they were coming. Going somewhere? Sorry, I can explain. You failed on the first try, asked Figgle. What made you think it would work on the second? Sire, he is not a demon nor human. I have not seen the likes of him before. Silence! What did you tell him? Nothing. What did you tell him? Everything. Everything. My heart. Yes. You told him where it is? Yes. Be glad I have no more time. Or I would make you feel such pain! No! As it is, I will make your passing swift. No! I have not seen the likes of you before. No! They are gone and they will not come back.
You've caused too much trouble, boy. You frustrate me, boy. Let it give you some small pleasure before you die. Hello, boy. Your mom's gonna be worried. That's why your father had to die. You've caused too much trouble, boy. Angelo, run away! Daddy loves you! The heart is not hidden. The heart does not have to be hidden to be safe. That was Angelo. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you don't feel completely despondent. The The last piece of music there really gets me every time. Yeah, so right now we're making a movie called Butterfly Queen. It is a uh, fairy tale about getting your gosh darn friend back. There's socials around here. There's some links to clink. Links to click. There is a Venmo because we are fundraising. Help us keep bringing, help us keep, I can't speak. Help us keep bringing film to life right here in rural Vermont. We'll see you for the next one. Bye.